Hello, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Burns. The name of this story is Full House, An Invitation to Fractions by Dale Ann Dodds, illustrated by Abby Carter. <clears throat> the Strawberry Inn was run by Miss Bloom. Happy was she to fill every room. With one for herself and five for the guests, there were six rooms in all for a cozy night's rest. The Strawberry Inn, Vacancy. Knock, knock, went the door. Ding dong, the bell rang. Welcome, welcome, Miss Bloom sang. I arrest, that be my wish, said Sea Captain Duffy, who smelled just like fish. So Sea Captain Duffy, all tired and done, followed Miss Bloom to room number one. Now one room of six had a guest for the night. To fill up the inn would be pure delight. So one out of the six rooms were full. <clears throat> knock, knock, went the door. Ding dong, the bell rang. Welcome, welcome, Miss Bloom sang. Charmed, I'm sure, said the Duchess Buffet. Smoochy and I are on holiday. So the Duchess Buffet, in sapphires of blue, followed Miss Bloom to room number two. Now two rooms of six had guests for the night. To fill up the inn would be pure delight. Two sixths. Two out of the six rooms are full. Knock, knock, went the door. Ding dong, the bell rang. Welcome, welcome, Miss Bloom sang. Care for a hairbrush, a toothbrush, a comb? Or maybe a vacuum, said salesman Jerome. Arms full of shoe polish, pots, pans, and tea. He followed Miss Bloom to room number three. Now three rooms of six had guests for the night. To fill up the inn would be pure delight. So three sixths of the inn was full. <clears throat> went the door. Ding dong, the bell rang. Welcome, welcome, Miss Bloom sang. In town for my show, said trainer P. Klein. From smallest to largest, his dog stood in line. Then trainer P. Klein and doggies galore danced down the hall to room number four. Now four rooms of six had guests for the night. To fill up the inn would be pure delight. So four sixths of the inn is full. Four out of the six rooms. Knock, knock, went the door. Ding dong, the bell rang. Welcome, welcome, Miss Bloom sang. My biggest race ever said Johnny Z Power. I hit 210 miles per hour. Carrying his trophy and pleased to arrive, he followed Miss Bloom to room number five. Five rooms of six had guests for the night, filling Miss Bloom with pure delight. Five sixths of the inn is full. Five out of the six rooms. Then into the kitchen, Miss Bloom went to make a scrumptious dinner for all to partake. There were chicken and peas, potatoes, au gratin, but the very best part, Miss Bloom had forgotten. Did she forget? A strawberry cake 
with whipped cream piled high, still sat on the counter when the last dish was dry. She forgot that cake. Tired and happy, they all went to bed. Miss Bloom in room six, it's a full house, she said. Six out of the six rooms are full. The one whole house is full. The guests and Miss Bloom all called out, good night, plumped up each pillow and turned off each light. But then in the dark came shuffles and wiggles, whispers and mumbles, scuffles and giggles. Shadows were tiptoeing down the long hall but where were they going, bathrobes and all? Hmm. Erp, slurp, yummy yum. Suddenly, Miss Bloom sat up in bed. Something's not right at my end, she said. She rushed to the kitchen and turned on the light. There, she saw an astonishing sight. Five out of six, and the dogs and the cat stood covered in cake from toe to top hat. Well, said Miss Bloom, and tiddly dee, thank you for saving the last piece for me. So the cake was cut into six pieces. Each person had one sixth of the cake. Six sixths equals one whole, one whole cake. And that is Full House, an invitation to fractions.